We're back with another Excel speedrun with no mouse. Like last week, this case is also free. Link in the description if you want to try. If you did the FMUC, the University Championship, which was free to students, this is your round two case. We start by renaming the schedule tabs using Altor, H-O-R, so they're easier to reference. Go to the tab with the weekday schedule, Alt to DS for a multi-criteria sort, two criteria, first is the direction, second is the departure time, Southbound trains at the top, so we start with 1002 for the first service number, and use a modified formula so we can copy paste all of this down in one full swoop. Then we go to the next tab with the weekend train tables. Copy and transpose, paste transpose both tables containing the time between stops. Once we do this, we use the time function to add the number of seconds to the departure time. Uh, press F4 twice so we can lock the row. Copy and paste right to fill out the first train. And for each subsequent train, we'll again use the time function to add 10 minutes from the last departure. Copy and paste everything right to fill out the second train. Copy and paste everything down for both tables. Then copy and paste the entire second table, which is your northbound trains, directly underneath the first. This way we can easily refer to it as one schedule instead of two separate ones. Onto the data tab. Add our supporting columns to answer the case questions. We'll need the weekday, whether it's a weekday or a weekend, the month, and the direction. The weekday and month are easy. We use the respect, respective functions. A weekday value of 1 or 7 denotes a weekend, Saturday or Sunday, SS. All others denote a weekday, Monday to Friday, MF. For the direction, if the service number, which is in column H, is even, the train is going southbound. Otherwise, the train is going northbound. Now, now we need to calculate our actual performance versus the expected performance to get to our late performance. So let's bring in the expected performance. This is going to be an index match formula off the service number. If it's a weekend train, look up off the SS tab. Otherwise, look up off the MF tab. Notice how I'm locking every column reference except the lookup column. This is going to make it easier for us when we copy and paste everything to the right. It'll keep our, reference that, keep our references that we want to keep. Once we're done here, copy and paste right to fill this out. Here we go. Copy and paste the formats to make these look like times and not decimals. And now that we have expected arrival times, let's add some columns to compare the two. We need four columns. Stop one to two, two to three, three to four, and four to the end. And then add a, a column for a number of late stops. So if the train is canceled, which is column C, it's not late, so we use zero. Otherwise, we subtract actual arrival time minus expected arrival time. Multiply this by 86,400 to get number of seconds. And note how I'm using the round function here. I put this in because there's an error in Excel on how seconds are calculated. I'll make another video on this sometime in the future. The last column here, number of late stops, same logic. Only we're going to do a count if to see how many number of these stops were late more than 45 seconds. Now that we have our columns, copy and paste down, wait for a few seconds for it to refresh. Great, now let's calculate our penalties. Add three columns, one, two, three for the months, and we add, I'll, we'll add our three penalty sections and their segments right now. And now we're gonna calculate these. So the first section up top, that's calculation penalty. SS is scheduled services. That's a count ifs when the months match. CS canceled services is the same as SS, but you also add a criteria for a canceled departure time. Really, any cancellation of any stop will do. I just know that uh, column C is the departure time. CP cancellation penalty that's given by the case. CS divided by SS times 500K. The case says to round. Don't forget to round down. Second section, journey time penalty. DS delivered services is SS minus CS from above. Total of the arrival times is the sum ifs of the late arrival times column where the months match. An average late arrival time is your sum, which is right above that, divided by your DS. JTP, your journey time penalty, that's given by the case. Average late arrival time times $400. The case says to round down, don't forget the round down. Third section, late stop penalty. Late percentage is easy. For the numerator, just copy the sum is from above. Only resum the number of late arrival times with a month's match. 
For the denominator, the case says to use late stops plus on time stops. Well, that's literally every stop. So that's the same as your delivered services times four, as every service has time four stops. Late stop penalty is given by the case, 100,000 times max of zero, with a late percentage minus 2%. Finally, your grand total, we'll add the three penalties together. Do that, and then you copy and paste right to get all three months. Now, we're going to do some intermediate calculations to preemptively answer some of the case questions. So to answer Q4, compare the DS and SS ratio for each, each month and the weekday and the weekend. Copy and paste SS and CS down, add your calc for DS, which is just SS minus CS. Now for SS and CS, just add a criteria that the sheet column is equal to MF, Monday to Friday, and add the ratio at the bottom. Don't forget to copy and paste right. Copy and paste this entire section once you're done with it, but change the MF to SS. And again, don't forget to copy and paste right. 97% was the highest one. So I just uh, bold that one as the highest of the six. Corresponds to January from Monday to Friday. And to, can to answer Q6, look at the canceled services per day of the week. Add numbers from one to seven, which correspond to the days of the week. Do a count ifs on the departure column, which has to equal canceled, and the weekday column has to equal the corresponding number. To answer Q7, look at the maximum late arrival time for every day in February. Add our February dates. There are 28 of them. Then do a max ifs. We want a max of column X. That's the difference in final arrival times, where the date column, A, matches our corresponding date. Now we can answer the questions. Number one, service number of southbound Monday to Friday train leaving at 1 p.m. Just reference the cell directly. Again, there's an error in how Excel calculates this time. I'll do it in a future video. <clears throat> number two, scheduled arrival time of service number 2139. It's gonna be in the next match. Since the service number is in the 2000s, look up our weekend tab, not the weekday one. Number three, northbound service is canceled in January. It's a count ifs with three criteria. Direction is northbound, month is January, and it has to be canceled. Number four, which southbound service has the highest percentage of delivered to scheduled services? Again, we did this before. This is January from Monday to Friday. Look at, the, look at it right there, 97%. Number five, ratio of CS to SS from March. Again, we directly reference both cells here since we have the values in the data tab. Number six, day of the week with the most canceled services. This is gonna be an index match off of our second supporting table we made, where we look up the corresponding day to the max value. This is gonna return a value of two for the second day of the week. Uh, once that's done, we use a text function to format that number to Monday, which answers the question. Number seven, February day with the highest single late arrival time. Similar to before, index match off of our third supporting table, where we look up the corresponding day to the maximum value. Okay. Number eight, maximum late arrival time across the three months. This is easy. That's just gonna be a max of the column for late arrival times. Number nine, sum of all northbound late arrival times in March. This is gonna be a sum of the late arrival times with two criteria. Direction is northbound, month is March. That's gonna give us total seconds. All of the answer choices have 92 hours and 11 seconds. So we only care about the minutes. Subtract 92 hours from this. So that's gonna be 92 times 60 times 60. And then you wanna subtract your 11 seconds from this. The resulting number, you want to divide by uh, 60 to get to 52 minutes. Number 10, maximum monthly value, average late arrival time. Again, an easy max of three values. Number 11, journey time penalty across the three months. This is an easy sum of three values. Number 12, late stops on northbound services in January. This is gonna be a sum ifs of the late stops with two criteria. Direction is northbound, month is January. Right.
Number 13, minimum monthly value of late percentage across all three months. So whereas number 10 was an easy max, this is going to be an easy min of three values. Number 14, late stop penalty across the three months. Similar to number 11, an easy sum of three values. Number 15, performance penalty for February. You can directly reference this cell. We finish here at 10.09. I didn't do the bonus question as it's an optimization question, or both of them are actually. The case solution uses a data table. To reiterate my point from the last video, these types of questions are less about skill and more about who has the fastest CPU, which goes against speedrunning. This is actually going to be my last FMWC speedrun video for a while. I may do one or two more FMWC ones, but I think I've proved what I can do with these videos. Additionally, there are some other videos I'd like to put up on YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you next week.